Hello and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in less than three minutes. Today we're looking at a string method called car at. Yeah, it doesn't sound very easy to say, um, but it allows us to access specific characters in a string. So let's begin by defining the string that we're going to work on. Um, let's say const name equals, and let's just put my name because that's nice and easy for me to remember. Um, the first thing we have is this car at method. And what we're going to do is first refer to the string name, and then we just do dot car at, and this obviously stands for character at, and we then include an index number. Now, um, I will put a link up here um, to my explanation of what indices are and how to use them in a very basic way. It's one of these videos, so you will understand this in more detail. But the basic idea is that we start at zero and then we count up for each character. So if I said car at two, yeah, this is equal to the letter N, this N here specifically. Um, if I did name dot car at zero, then this would equal a capital A, yeah? Uh, so we have some options there uh, in terms of just using it. The other option we have is bracket notation. This is more standard and you'll see why because it's a little bit quicker. Name two, oh, whoa, hello there, autocorrect. And <laughs> name zero. Um, so these are exactly the same as the above. Yeah, this will return capital A, and this will return a lowercase n. Um, just a few more examples. Uh, name, let's think, four. Oops, no space. Um, we'll return, have one second to think about it. Where's the four? We can start at zero. One, two, three, four. It's a space. <laughs> Just a space. So you see characters uh, do include spaces, it includes absolutely everything. If we took the very last character, it would be an, a lowercase l. Um, that's basically it. So this is our first string method, car at. Uh, you can access things that way, or you can use this bracket notation. Um, either one is absolutely fine. And you'll see we can also do mathematical equations in here, uh, just to give you a bit of extra fun. Uh, name two plus one. <laughs> will give us the same character at position three, which is a lowercase a. Yeah, this one here. So you go zero, one, two, three, and then we've got that lowercase a. So those are the ways in which we can access characters in strings. I hope you found that useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later for some more string methods. I can't wait. See you then. Bye.